Hello viewers, now I am discussing some important problems on Picard's existence and uniqueness theorem. Today's first problem is so that for the problem dy dx equals to y under the condition y0 equals to 1, the constant a in Picard's theorem must be smaller than unity. Since the boundary condition of f of xy as mod of f of xy less or equal to m or mod of y minus y0 less or equal to m, we know that these conditions and here given problem is f of xy equals to dy dx equals to y under condition y0 equals to 1. Thus f of xy equals to y that is mod of y less equal to m for mod of y minus 1 less equal to m since y is equal to 1. Let us choose m greater equal to 1. Now for the Lipschitz condition we also see that mod of f of x comma y2 minus f of x comma y1 equals to y2 minus y1 since f of x equals to y which is less equal to m into mod of y2 minus y1 and from here we get m get equal to 1 again mod of y minus 1 less equal to m this implies mod of y minus 1 less equal to m okay so it follows that the condition mod y less equal to m will be satisfied for all values of mod of y minus 1 less equal to m and this is condition number a it will be satisfied for mod y equals to 1 plus m okay thus from a we get since mod y equals to 1 plus m that is 1 plus m less equal to m and from calculating we get a less or equal to 1 minus 1 divided by m which is less than 1 since 1 less or equal to m less than infinity ok so hence the proof ok here the constant a in Picard's theorem must be smaller than unity and here a is less than 1 which is smaller than unity this completes the proof. Next problem prove that dy dx equals to 2y by x, y of x0 equal to y0 has a unique solution if x0 not equal to 0. Discuss the case when x0 equal to 0. So here f of xy equals to 2, 2y divided by x. This is condition number a and del f divided by del y equals to 2 by x here f of xy and del f by del y both of uh, this exist and bounded around x0 y0 and here it is also and it is also noticed that x0 not equal to 0 so by uniqueness theorem for each x0 not equal to 0 there exists a unique solution defined in an open interval around x0 ok so first part is put now from a we have dy dx equals to 2y by x after integrating we get y equals to c x square and thus y of x equals to c x square here we consider the case when x0 equals to 0 ok so when x0 equals to 0 there exists no solution because the function is 2y divided by x so when x0 equals to 0 there exists no solution when y0 not, not equal to 0 it is also, also notified that is y0 not equal to 0 also if y0 equals to 0 then we have infinite number of solutions y equals to cx square 
okay while c is in a real number and which is satisfy the initial value problem dy dx equals to 2y by x under the condition y0 equals to 0 so we can summarize this uh, problem as three types solution number one a unique solution in an open interval containing x0 if x0 not equal to 0 no solution if x0 equals to 0 and y0 not equal to 0 and infinitely many solutions if x0 and y0 equals to 0 and 0 ok it's a very important problem ok today's third problem is show that the function f of tx equals to x plus x square cos t by t square satisfies leaves with condition in mod x less equal to 1 and mod of t minus 1 less than half and find the leaves with constant it's a very important problem and very easy ok now mod of f of t x1 minus f of t x2 equals to mod of x plus x1 square cos t by t square minus x2 plus x2 square cos t by t square taking this term is common that is cos t divided by t square and x1 minus x2 and plus x1 square minus x2 square which can be written as x1 plus x2 into x1 minus x2 which is lesser equals to mod of cos t by t square mod of x1 minus x2 mod of 1 plus x plus x2 each mod is separable here since by the given condition mod of t minus 1 less than half that is we get half less than t less than c by 2 maximizing the right hand side we get mod of f of t comma x1 minus f of t comma x2 less or equals to since mod of cos t less equal to 1 and here maximizing t we get t greater than half so 1 divided by half square mod of x1 minus x2 remain invariant and since mod x less equal to 1 that is mod of 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is less equal to thus we get 12 into mod of x1 minus x2 that is mod of f of t comma x1 minus f of t comma x2 less equal to 12 into mod of x1 minus x2 which given that the function f of tx satisfies leaves with condition in the given region and leaves with constant is 12 ok I will discuss more mathematical topics on applied mathematics thanks for watching